speaking. So they go on five minutes before stage time. To make sure everything's working okay and to um, give us a little bit of time to get people from Instagram in as well which I'm going to do now oh hello five of you are there already hi so we've got five minutes so at the minute we're just hanging out together Um, right, so we are going live on Instagram. Well, we've got another four minutes to do that. <laughs> Sean's in the room to read out comments and he's gesticulating to me. I don't know. Do you want to just say what? <laughs> do you want me to send it when I share it on the page that we share? Yeah, feel free. You have creative freedom in moderation. <laughs> <laughs> Hello people. Okay, there's 16 people in the room already. We've got three more minutes until showtime. And then I will say hello properly. Um, but come in. Come in. Welcome to the stables. Hope everyone in Milton Keynes is well. Hope we've all enjoyed walking around the roundabouts today and other Milton Keynes stereotypes. Have you managed to share it? Does that work? Okay. <laughs> okay, how many people in the room? I see, we're getting there. Usually at the stables, you'd get, I think his name is Ken, to give you a five minute knock five minutes till stage time, um, which I really, I really love that. It's very, very sweet and it hypes you up. And um, so we're just going to, I'm just gonna imagine, I feel Kevin knocking on the door, this time with a two minutes till stage time. <clears throat> Okay, time to go live on Instagram. No, I'm impatient. We still got two minutes. <clears throat> Are people saying things? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Do you want to say who's there? Yeah, we got Michael Hezro, Roxanne. Hi, Michael. Harry Andrews, Northampton team. Yeah. Way. Yeah. Ian McIntosh, Roxanne. Hi, Ian. <laughs> Sean says uh, thanks to Michael for the shout out. Um, oh, okay, we're like a proper group of people now. This is exciting. Um, one minute to go. Dun dun dun. You see, usually I'd be like jumping about backstage now, um, and Ken would make fun of me. He wouldn't do that. He's very nice. Um, one minute. One minute. They also have a very fancy, like, proper mirror with lights around it backstage at the stables. Um, so, um, imagining all that today. Yeah, uh, ju it was just an old school uh, high rock fan. Hello. Hi, Justin. Timothy Holloway, currently fan, but I'm here. Hey, no, you made it just in time. Thanks for coming. Opening night of the tour. This is a very long minute. <laughs> um, wait, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna go live on Instagram. If you're patient with me for one more minute. Hello, Milton Keynes. Hello, Milton Keynes on Instagram. My name's Roxanne DeBastian. No one's there yet on Instagram, so I just said that to you. <laughs> okay, but that looks to be like, ah, people are coming. Hello, hello, come in, come to the show, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Come in, come in. Hi, come in, come in. Okay, so Instagram have a different sound to Facebook, um, but I hope, I hope it will be fine. I hope it will be fine. If it's not, let me know. I'll try and check the comments on Instagram every now and then. 
Okay, I reckon we can start the show. Good evening, Milton Keynes. It's very nice to open the tour at the stables. I'm going to start with um, one of my new songs is called I Remember Everything. Dot, dot, dash, I crack the code. Faithful victory. Though that doesn't mean I am free. I recall something on your mind. Though I can't get out of mine. Let me reassure you that we I am a star, you are the heavens. If I am a star, you are the heavens. Dot, dot, dash, a symphony of facts and figurines. Instagram. Hello. Hi, Liverpool Acoustic. Um, this is not a time to be short-sighted, so I'm squinting at the screen, but it's nice to see you. I see lots of people waving. Um, right, so I'm very excited to be on tour, and I'm also very excited to not have to be um, on trains or on the motorway to do so. I'm on tour to celebrate the launch of um, my single, um, which was produced by Bernard Butler, so that's very exciting. Has everyone heard it? Don't leave the live stream now, but if you haven't heard it, you should definitely go to Spotify and listen to it. And you can buy it off Bandcamp or iTunes or um, Amazon or your other online retailer of choice. This is a raise.
how can you say we have seen our best days we'll speak everybody doing? Yeah. Including yourself? I'm fine, yeah. Are there comments? Yeah, there are. Um, same as you all are listening to it on my walk tonight. Lovely. On your walk? That's yeah. that's novel. Well done, Timothy. Um, Ross Marshall lives at Pancake and Oving. So I know. We don't know where Oving is, but thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna play another. Oh, I like it when you clap. <laughs> I mean, like at the best of times, but especially now. Um, um, and I see thumbs up over here. Thank you. I like I like your use of emojis. Well done. Um, right, I'm gonna sing another new song that um, is kind of better with audience participation, um, and we can do that remotely. Um, because you can sing along from home, wherever you are, and uh, I will feel it. Um, or you could get your caps lock on and just type it out really quickly. Um, it's a very repetitive line, so if you do that, you might want to just copy and paste. Um, so the song is all about amusing on if there is such a thing as divinity, maybe we've got it wrong, and it's not some external thing, but it's um, within us. So the song is called Molecules and I think you'll get hang of the line pretty quickly. You can shout at molecules and see them react. That might be God, they might have mislabeled that. Rip out a flower and watch it grow back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Well done, everyone. I felt you singing along. So I really like to thank. Oh God, this is a real fear. It's also a fear of mine on stage to just fall over and break stuff, especially when I'm um, opening for someone else. Like I, I went on tour opening for Marillion, and they had all the gear on stage and all the drums and all the pedals and all the cables, and I just, I was just terrified every night, especially because I was on crutches, so I was handicapped, and um, I was terrified of breaking stuff, but. I didn't break things apart from the ankle, which is why I had crutches to begin with. Um, but it's the same here. There's so much. <laughs> it's just I'm really not very nice to my gear and everything. And yeah, everything sort of crashing into each other. But that's okay. So nothing's broken yet. Yes, Sean? Uh, hang on, you said not how Rock Council was sound check. Ah. Oh. Might have to take a trip to Bandcamp later. Please do take a trip to Bandcamp. But thank you. I enjoy doing the little sound check. Um, I kind of enjoy popping up online now without sort of warning people. It's um, kind of fun just to see who's going to tune in. Um, but back to Milton Keynes, back to the stables. Um, they were so nice and so keen on the idea of um, being part of my virtual tour. And it's great that they're the, um, they're the first date. Um, I've played a few times my headline show in the smaller room and I've had the pleasure of opening for other brilliant artists in the main room. Uh, the first time I played there was opening for Ricky Ross from Deacon Blue um, and at that time that was the biggest show I'd ever played so um, I was terrified and everyone was so nice and it was sold out and um, some of you are still in touch with me from that day. So. Yeah, it's really, that's a really special memory. Um, and catching the last train home, that's a memory that's definitely sort of linked with playing at the stables. Um, how's Instagram doing? Oh, I'm just going to pick you up for a second. Oh, mostly waving. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I did leave the house, albeit very briefly, to go on this tour. Um, but this next song is all about what it's usually like to go on tour. The song's called Train Tracks. As some of you might know, I um, do lots of my touring on public transportation, not out of some um, moral, ecological reason, but I don't have a driving license, so if there's no one to come with me, then, then I need to take the train. Which isn't so bad, really, because it's um, time to write and time to think. I've written a little book called Tales from the Rails. But this is a reminder to myself um, just to stay like motivated when it gets tough. So hopefully it, um, it can do the same for you if you've had a tough day. Time. 
sick of it. I'm pretty sure I just changed the sound of the keyboard with the head of the guitar, so it might be something very comical now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Craftwork. <laughs> oh, craftwork. Yeah, my tribute to Florian. Hang on. Sie ist ein Model und sie sieht gut aus. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, I'm going to play you another new song. And I don't think I've played this before, maybe once, but definitely not on the internet. Hello Instagram people of Milton Keynes, how are you doing? Thank you very much, um, Mark, possibly Mark, but thank you. How's everyone on Facebook? Is everyone good? Yeah, I've a couple of people say we saw you at the Ricky Ross gig. Oh, yeah. well, yeah, hello to everyone who was at the Ricky Ross gig. Honestly, that was such a fun show. <laughs> oh no, how do I get back uh, to a proper piano sound? There we go. Um, <clears throat> I was so like green at that show. Um, Ricky Ross's manager, it was his job to, to pay me um, at the end of the night. Uh, he paid me before my show um, and he, it was my fee plus 15 pounds. And this really confused me. This is like a little bit of insight into touring life for anyone who's not a musician. Um, and I thought that he might, this is my paranoid mind, but I thought he might have overpaid me on purpose to see if I would say something. Um, so I went to Ricky Ross's like dressing room and knocked on the door and was like, I'm sorry, Mr. Manager, but like it's 15 pounds too much. You overpaid me. And he just, you could really see the look of like, oh, bless on his face. And he was just like, it's your buyout. And I was like, my, my what? It's like, my, it's, it's your buyout. And clearly he registered the blank face and he was just like, well, you got to eat. So um, from that day forth, I knew that a buyout was cash if they don't feed you. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that Ricky Ross show was just um, great for all sorts of reasons. Um, Anyway, I'm conscious that I'm doing like a lot of talking. Um, uh, so this next song is called Heavy Lifting and it's just about, we live in a society where it's not very common to talk about when we struggle and a lot of work is done behind the scenes and we don't really share that. Um, so yeah, here's Heavy Lifting. <laughs> Look, don't you start, I'm having a bad time. Holding my breath, waiting on punchlines. Take 
time to heal This war-torn feeling in my bones and ligaments It's an uphill struggle still All this heavy lifting When no one's looking I have done Typical landlord, shade of white, turn to face the window, in comes that low, hanging light. Once I heard the truth come crashing down and as it descended I rushed to grab a pen I wanted to keep it to Of a memory trend in someone else's dream. Re
That was a song called Rerun of my album. Album? <laughs> of my album, Heirlooms and Hearsay. Um, what am I doing now? How's everyone doing? Is everyone still having a good time? <laughs> Looking at Sean. Um, Graham has reminded everyone that yeah. you can buy a ticket for each show. How good of you, Graham, to remind us. So, some of you have already sent me uh, donations via my PayPal. I really should have put up the link. What an amateur. But it is day one so of the tour, so I'll learn. Um, it is paypal.me forward slash Roxanne Debastian. Definitely put the link up. Or can you put the link up, Sean? Can you do that? Um, oh, sorry, Instagram. You saw half my face for a second. Hi. Um, so some of you have already donated a, a gig ticket um, through PayPal or through my Bandcamp. Um, if you haven't, of course, please do if you're enjoying the show. Um, it's, yeah, it's a way that artists can continue working um, when there's no possibility to tour physically um, and the stables is also part of the hashtag save our venues campaign um, so you could also donate there um, and there's more information on this very page about that um, so I'm streaming from North London in spirit in Milton Keynes but I grew up in Berlin has anybody been and feel free to like ask questions and stuff. I know there's a bit of a delay, but if you ask questions, um, we can read them out after the next song. So this is a song about gentrification, I suppose. Um, and Berlin with its very recent, strange history. Um, it's just very interesting to see the city change at such a fast rate. So my family's still there. So obviously I can't go see them at the minute, which is a very strange feeling, but um, I'm sure we'll all be able to travel again soon. Hope you're all doing okay. So this song's called Wasteland. Stra 
stuffing up the pillows so no one can tell you were lying where I once took my final stride face down in the mud heading for the other side it's only wasteland only wasteland to them now was wasteland uh, someone said something on instagram so i'm going to go have a look and hold the phone very close to my face oh cool lamb chop yes i also talked with lamb chop did we uh play milton Keynes with lamb chop i don't think we did um will you have any new merch um well i've currently got new music uh, I'm lacking in the department of merch. I have no t-shirts and no mugs. And at the minute, it's obviously quite hard to uh, make things happen. Um, I did once have mugs. That wasn't quite as random as it sounded. Um, but yeah, so I've got new music coming out, which is very exciting. Um, check out Arrays if you haven't yet, and there's more to come. So somewhere down the line, obviously this pandemic um, has um, thrown curveballs to everyone's plans so whether that's a release plan a moving plan, a travel plan um, so I just don't know yet but um, roxandebastian.com uh, is the place to be to look at merch just forward slash shop um, and if you're on my newsletter and on my socials then um, yeah, you'll be the first to know I'm going to play one more song um, actually, I'm going to play two more songs on the acoustic and then we're probably getting towards the end of the show. Is everyone alright on Facebook? I feel responsible and I want to like check in with you guys all the time because um, I can't see you. Are there any more questions on Facebook or comments on Facebook? Um, just people recommending the album. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you I for think. recommending the album. Can you hear Sean here, or does it sound like I'm talking into... Can you hear a thick Scouse accent, <laughs> or am I just talking into the void? Um, <coughs> speaking of Scouse accents, I'm going to be in Liverpool tomorrow, virtually, playing on the Liverpool acoustic pages. Um, I think I'll just do a little um, sort of song that you might know, and you can sing, sing along from home. Um, this is a very pretty, naive song from the 1960s. And has anyone else really been enjoying like really fresh air on walks and bird song? So it reminded me of this track. Sorry, I'm just zooming in to here again. Hi guys, nice to see you. <clears throat> they paved paradise, put up a parking lot. With a pink hotel, a boutique, and a swinging hot spot. 